Good afternoon and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Vinnie Morgan. I work here in sales at Booking Live. Today we're going to have a quick look at the admin system. It shouldn't last more than 20 minutes. And before that, I'll run through a quick introduction, give you a bit of background about the company and the product itself. Booking Live is based in Bristol in the UK and the typical client that we would work with would be a large corporate, council, local authority, but we do also work with a range of SMEs. Most of our clients are based here in the UK, but we do have clients all over the world. Booking Live is not just a booking system. We often describe it as enterprise management software as it gives you much more including a content management system, a powerful report suite, and some exciting integrations with third-party software. Something we're proud of at Booking Live is we're continually evolving the product to stay ahead of the competition and market trends. We've got a very exciting roadmap in place and our clients benefit from regular upgrades onto the software at no additional cost. Between 55 and 65% of customers are now browsing and booking using a tablet or mobile device. So it's of paramount importance that you choose a supplier who has a mobile first approach. Our booking software is fully mobile responsive, giving your customers the best user experience they can expect from booking online. Our plans and pricing are very simple, straightforward and easy to understand. Here are the three most popular plans and we do have about six different tiers on the enterprise plan starting at £250 a month. There are two things that affect which price plan is suitable for you. Firstly, the volume of bookings per month and secondly, the level of support that you need. If you go to our website, bookinglive.com, click pricing at the top and you'll be able to see a breakdown of all the pricing plans that we have to offer. Simply click view detailed pricing and it'll take you through to a page that breaks everything down to show you what's included within each different plan. If you do exceed the volume of bookings allocated within each plan, we charge a simple 20 pence per additional booking. And just remember that a booking could contain multiple booking items. For example, if I'm booking many people onto a course or if I book a range of different courses, if it's one transaction, it's one booking. Please do carefully consider the level of support you need as it ranges from everything such as no support, therefore forums only, right through to ticketed support, priority support, phone support, a dedicated account manager, dedicated SLAs, etc. Our sales representative will be able to explain more. Alongside our booking software, we can offer website design, search optimization, electronic point of sale, and other third-party services such as SMS and quick address lookups. We have a cost-effective rate card that we're able to share with you. Just ask one of our staff and we'll happily send that over to you. If you were to sign with Booking Live, you get allocated a dedicated account manager who will take you through the process from start to finish, arranging the installation, configuring the system, providing training, overseeing any development, testing, and then the go live procedure. Let's now take a look at the admin system. To log into your admin system, simply enter your email and password. And once logged in, you'll see the modules on the left hand side. The first screen that you'll see is the dashboard where you're able to create panels by clicking the big green button on the top right. And these panels can be set per user or applied to all users in the organization. These panels can be used to show a summary of reports, for example, transactions or forthcoming customers and bookings that are attending on the day, or interactive widgets such as weather forecasts. And once created, these can be dragged around on your screen. Once you've got your system up and running, you'll spend most of your time using the admin calendar. In here, you're able to see the products and events that you've created, and also a summary of how many spaces are available for each event. If I click into an event, it gives me a pop-up which summarizes the information, what bookings and customers are attending, but also it gives me some shortcut icons on the bottom where I'm able to initiate a new booking, send a notification which could be a text message or email to all the customers attending that event. I could also start checking them in, allowing me to run various reports such as no-shows or attendance reports. And I could also engage in the waiting list. And the waiting list is enabled for example, if I had 20 spaces available and they become fully booked, 
the book now button changes into join waiting list and once there's people on the waiting list and you release more availability you can then notify them they can come back online and make a booking simply by clicking one of these buttons changes the pop-up into a screen where you can modify the content insert some merge tags before sending the message out and it's the same for checking in and engaging in the waiting list we also have some basic resource management where you're able to assign staff onto a particular event allowing them to log in and view customers and bookings that they've been assigned to you can also manage permissions for those users in the system in this example here, I've given the administrators full access into the system, but you could specify, for example, access only into reports, bookings, or customer data. In the customer section, we have the ability to filter customers by using the search fields on the left-hand side. We can search for name, email address, postcode within a certain radius, tags, etc., and they will update the results on the right. We have basic customer information, including their name, surname, email address, but also more specific information, such as how many orders have been created, what the total revenue is, any outstanding amounts, and what the average spend is per order. If we were to click the blue arrow, that would reload the customer information back into the system, this saving time and improving data accuracy during the booking process. If I was to click into the customer profile, I can see on the top left a summary of who they are with the ability to add on a profile image. And this is really useful for those clients that might be interested in using the membership module where you would issue membership cards. And when the customer turns up to the venue, you can swipe them in, verify that is the correct customer before giving them access into the facility. On the top right of the customer profile, we have a summary of when the profile was created, what the customer ID is, and what the total income received is. And just below that, we've got the ability to assign them into different groups and assign tags or labels, which is great for adding custom filters. Below that, we have a table of all the orders or bookings that the customer has made. And at the bottom, the ability to add on any notes and attachments onto the customer profile. If we take a look at the order screen, again, we have some filters that we could expand to update the results on the right hand side. But on here, we've got a quick snapshot or summary of what the order information contains. And if we click into a specific order, again, we're able to see customer information on the top left, brief information on the order on the top right. Uh, just above that, we have some actions where we can modify the order or resend the confirmation email. And again, just below a table containing the products that they've booked, date, time, location, total cost, and again, the ability to add on any notes and attachments to a specific order. What you'll then see throughout Booking Live is that we break all the information down and provide that in tabs. So what have they booked? Date, time, location, who's attending, what's their information? And you've got the ability to click into this and modify that information if you need to do so. There's also tabs to display transactions, how much has been received, when was it received, what was the method of payment, and of course the ability to make refunds and take additional transactions. The final couple of tabs up here allow you to view a log. When was the order created? When was it modified? When was payment taken? But also a, a view into the future. When will SMS and email be sent? You've got the ability to see the full history and future actions applied to a specific order. And the last tab is, uh, gives you the ability to cancel the order and send a text or email to that customer. The next section we'll take a look at are the reports. Booking Live have developed a very powerful report suite allowing you to create your own reports. In this attendees report, we have some filters. If I just go in and select year to date, giving me a full range of data to display in the table below. What you'll also notice are additional filters where I can specify dates, locations, filter by certain products, and of course, whether the customer has checked in or not. And all of those filters would update the table below. All reports can be exported using the button on the top right in different formats including Excel, PDF and CSV. If you want to change the default view of a report, you can come in and click Duplicate, which gives you this pop-up screen and the ability to add on custom columns. 
if you capture information for example height weight shoe size or any other medical information dietary requirements etc from your customer you're able to add those columns on as part of the report there are some other settings below that for example adding on your logo or of course adding on custom columns uh, and once those settings are created you can then save the report and it will add it to this drop down here this is allowing you to create multiple versions of a specific report for your own needs and just by changing that we'll update the table below to show all that information once more booking live has a very exciting roadmap and one of the things being enhanced onto the report is the ability for you to schedule those to be delivered into your inbox on a day week or month basis and there are other reports regarding orders payments volume etc which work in the same way if you're interested in using webhooks, JSON feeds or our API, please do let the sales representative know and they'll be able to discuss that further with you. The next section we'll take a look at is the content management system, or more commonly known as the page editor. The page editor in Booking Live is included with all price plans and allows you to create an individual web page for each product. Many of our clients will have the website and booking system in one, and this provides excellent user experience for your customers. If we take a look at an individual product page, the first thing you see on the left hand side is the page editor, allowing you to create different layouts. Once you've chosen your layout, you're able to drag and drop widgets onto relevant sections and preview that in real time on the right hand side. You also have the ability on the bottom right to preview what that page will look like on a desktop, tablet and mobile device. Just remember Booking Live is fully mobile responsive and will work on multiple devices. To add in widgets you simply hit this button on the right hand side and then drag and drop any particular widget you want on any section within the page. It gives you this pop-up screen allowing you to enter the settings in this example for the Twitter feed and in doing so we'll update the page in real time. You also have the ability on the bottom left to save as draft mode or to publish it direct so that everybody can see. And also the CMS is great for search optimization. You can modify the metadata, the page URL, and it auto generates a Google sitemap. You can also integrate it with Google Analytics, roll back the page version history at any time. And there's a whole bunch of other settings in here as part of the page editor. It also comes loaded with a file management repository system, allowing you to upload documents and images that you might want to display online or as attachments within emails. Next, we'll take a look at some general settings within the system. First of all, you have the ability to enter your customer data, your logo, registration number, tax details, but also configure the look and feel of the website. You're able to control the header, footer, and any developers or web agency that you might work with has the ability to go in and change what's called the CSS, allowing you to completely change the look and feel to match your company branding. All of that is under your control, as well as the ability to change content on the booking pages, the confirmation screen, and enable things such as single sign-on or cookie bars that will add a little drop-down onto the website that your customers must agree to before they're able to continue. To create and manage products is very easy. Simply click the Add Product button on the top and it'll give you a screen such as this. Within here, you've got the ability to manage the name, the price, and the price doesn't have to be a fixed price per person. You could set up price categories or concessions. For example, adult child, member, non-member. All that pricing can be handled very easily within the system. You also have the ability to modify the description, the thumbnail, what calendar is displayed online, minimum participant numbers, tax codes, variety of other settings, but also what booking form is used. So for example, you can set up booking forms that capture information for certain products. And there are two types of terms to remember, the purchaser, who's the person making the booking, and the participant, who's the person who will be attending on the day. If it's the same, no problem, they can copy that information down very easily. Otherwise, the booking form is very easy and intuitive for them to complete both the purchaser and participant information at the same time. 
Once the product is created, you can click the tab on the top right that says events, and this will allow you to very quickly and easily create events that could be a one-off or repeat over many days. For example, I could enter a capacity of 20, select certain locations, resources and staff, and then specify the exact start and end time. Once I hit the save button, it's that quick and easy to create a one-off event. If, however, I want to create events that might be running on the hour, every hour, for the next three months, or every Monday for the next six months, whatever the scenario is, it's very quick and easy to do that within one single interface. Something we're proud of at Booking Live is you have complete control over the software yourself. You should never need to come to us to ask us to maintain or manage the system for you. And if you do, we've got some friendly support staff there available to show you around. For example, you can come in and modify the information that you capture from the participant or the purchaser. It's very easy. If I wanted to add on a new booking field, I simply click the green button and it gives me a drop down list where I can select name, height, weight, shoe size, medical information, dietary requirements. We've got a whole range of field options in there for you to select from. And if we don't have the one that you need, you're able to create custom form fields very quick, very easy. There are some other settings in there to determine whether it's a mandatory field or not. And once that's set up, it's applied to the system in real time. There's also a notification section in Booking Live, allowing you to configure all the content that's sent to your customers, including confirmation emails, text message reminders, and post event feedback emails, which works very similar to Survey Monkey or eBay, where it sends out an email asking them to complete the survey to give you a star rating based on the questions you set and to leave an overall comment. And if you were to approve that, it could then display within your booking system. If we take a look at the most obvious email that goes out, the confirmation email, in here you're able to define the content and use some of the predefined merge tags such as name and booking summaries. You can modify the email to include HTML, images or any other branding material, preview what that image will look like before it gets sent out. But we always recommend keeping that as plain text just to maximize the chances of everybody being able to read that no matter what device they're using. We also send all our emails through a third party called SendGrid, which maximizes the chances of delivery and allows you to log in and view all emails that have been sent, bounced, received, opened, etc. There are a variety of other settings within the system allowing you to configure the payment gateway. We interface with over 30 different payment gateways including SagePay, WorldPay, Civica, Capita, etc. And you've also got settings to manage promotions, so you could set up promotional codes or packages. And these might take off fixed monetary values or percentages, and they could be applicable to certain products, days of the week, have expiry dates, etc. There's a range of settings in there applicable for promotions alone. You could also sell memberships online, which will take monthly payments automatically from your customers, very similar to direct debit. And through their membership, they could log in and book online a range of products at concession rates, providing, of course, that you've set that up within your system. Utilizing our electronic point of sale system allows you to quickly and easily manage walking customers that simply don't have the time to go through the full booking process. Alongside payment gateways, we have integrations with CRM systems, email marketing systems, postcode lookups, SMS sending, etc. So if you do have any particular software in mind that you need to integrate with, please do let us know and we'll be able to advise if and how that may be possible. So that's the admin system demo now complete. Today's webinar was designed just to give you a very quick overview of how the system works. If you do need to see anything more specific, please do let us know. We'll be happy to spend the time in showing you that. What you'll also notice on the bottom left is the help icon, which takes you into our user manual, fully documenting with screenshots and step-by-step -step instructions how to use the Booking Live software. Now let's take a look at how some of our clients use the software and how they integrate that within their website. In this first example, this client is using our API to pull the information within their website. 
they've developed a search widget allowing them to filter results and push their customers through the booking journey as quickly and easily as possible. By coming on to this particular page, I have all the information I need from the booking system and by clicking the book now button, it takes me straight into the booking process. There's four steps to the booking process and your customer can very quickly and easily see what progress they've made during that booking journey. On this first screen, they can see the title, description, a thumbnail, the cost and the ability to add on as many participants as they wish. Below that, they then need to select the event they wish to attend, which will add it to the bottom of the page and allow them to continue. In this example, we're using something called a list view, which is really appropriate if you have 20 events or less. The next example I'm showing you is a client that has the website and booking system in one, which gives excellent customer experience. The customer will never leave the website and everything is under HTTPS, giving them peace of mind and adding that extra security on for you. In this example also, the customer is using the most popular calendar, where you can come on, select the different date, and it will display the times on the right hand side. And this one is really useful if, for those companies that might be running multiple dates and times within their availability. In this example, we're showing a client that has used Booking Live as a subdomain. The look and feel matches their exact website, and they're also using it for booking venues. So in this particular example, the calendar is slightly different. If I select tomorrow and specify that I want the meeting room for two hours, first of all, we can see there's a booking already in here, but I could then select 8am and it'll add the details below with the VAT or tax breakdown and allow me to go through to continue. So that particular interface is really useful for those who might be booking out meeting rooms, venues or any other similar resources. This final example is really applicable for those who might have products such as football pitches, holiday schemes, anything that basically allows your customers to select more than one event. So for example, I could select Friday 9am and book that for the next six weeks. Of course, if there's availability, that'll add that to my basket quickly and easily. For those clients who might have AM, PM and allow the customer to multi-select on the screen, this one may well be the best interface. Let's now take a look at a booking from start to finish. Again, I can come in and I can select the event I wish to attend. I've got the optional extras on the screen so I could upsell any products or merchandise relevant to that particular product. And many of our clients have noticed huge increase in sales and revenue from using that particular feature. Right at the bottom of the screen, the customer has the ability to click into a question to view the answer. And again, we recommend those are relevant to the booking process. How secure is the booking system? When will I receive my confirmation? What's the cancellation policy? Those are the type of questions that your customers would typically want to know during the booking journey. If we continue through to stage two or four, this allows us to see a summary of what's in the basket and the ability to add on any promo codes, which will take off a fixed amount or a percentage from the overall amount due. If we then go through to checkout, the customer has the ability to log in, which will preload all the information into the screen. However, if I just quickly enter some information to continue, I then have the ability to see which participants have attended previously. Otherwise, I could hit that link to say I'm attending and it'll hide the fields underneath, which is really good for customer experience on a non-desktop device. Scrolling down, we have some prerequisites such as the terms and conditions or any other statement that you wish them to check and agree to before they're allowed to continue. Just below that, we've got a summary of what we've actually got in the basket before we then make our way to the payment gateway. If I was logged in as a customer, I'd be redirected to the payment gateway and once the payment is complete, they then come back to the system, see the confirmation screen and that's their order complete. However, because I'm logged in as an administrator, I see an additional screen. This screen allows me to select a different method of payment and for this purpose, I'm just going to add in cash as a method of payment. But additionally, I could raise an invoice or simply go to the payment gateway to complete an online credit card transaction. I'm just going to go ahead and complete that booking, which will take me through to the confirmation screen. 
At this point, the money is on its way to your bank account, the customer has sent the confirmation email and the customer also now has an account that they can log into to view the order, to complete any outstanding payment and edit any details if you allow them to do so. Of course you can allow the customer to pay the deposit or part payment, otherwise it defaults to capturing the full payment. Just to recap on some of the options to integrate with your website, you could use the subdomain which can be branded exactly the same as your website. You could host the website and booking system with us. You could use an iframe or of course our API. Thank you very much for your time today. My name has been Vinnie Morgan. I work here in sales. If you've not been in touch with us so far, come back to our website, bookinglive.com, click more, come onto the contact us page, give us a phone call, complete this form below. One of our sales representatives will be in touch. They'll be able to go through some of the options available to you and provide a quote and some time skills for you. Thank you very much. Have a great day and hopefully we'll be speaking to you soon.